Alrighty, everybody. It's a great day. Honey buns, take your love vitamin. I have a telepathic message for someone, a telepathic message. Um, someone has something they want to say to you. Um, when I woke up, I heard telepathy. I heard telepathic. I heard the words communication and I heard the words talk. I hear, can we just talk? That's Tevin Campbell. I hear, I'm ready. So someone could be ready to talk or someone could just be ready. But let's get this message and see what you need to know. Take your love vitamin. Boo boo. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit. I want to start off with the um romance angels and see what you need to know, Holy Spirit. Ooh, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Someone feels like it's worth waiting for. This could have been someone that you haven't heard from in a while or just someone that, you know, even if you're already interacting, like engaging someone, this person feels like, you know, the conversation was worth waiting for um, having. Like now is the right time. So there's someone who wants to open up and bring in some sort of um, communication here. Now, this is someone definitely here. There's some, some, some forgiving that someone wants to have and some learning that someone has um, had. Now, this is someone who had to heal something from the past. Um, this could be um, someone here. Oh, yeah. They could have been understanding the um, process of forgiving. I feel a heavy emphasis on, I don't know why, like, I don't feel really, I feel attached. Uh, attracted. I don't want the right word, but I feel connected to someone through this card. So there's a connection. It could be some sort of attraction. Someone feels very attached to you or someone could have had some sort of attachment. What I'm trying to say is normally I can feel you all very heavily. I feel this other person extremely heavy. This is someone here who had a hard time forgiving and something that God had to um, teach them to learn about themselves and other people. This is someone here who definitely had to deal with some things of their past. The card says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Someone here was stuck in a bitter state, a bitter cycle, and that could have affected you and them communicating interacting and getting better something about this person laying hands on this person down here you know it just takes me back to a um pretty much a churchy biblical thing when people lay hands on someone and pray for them so this is someone here, and this person is praying your person has been praying about some sort of forgiveness this is someone that may have that and the angels are involved here so someone here has something going on in their life more than what you know they could have withdrawn they could have just pulled back the thing of the matter is they had to understand who they were to know who they were supposed to become and this is somebody here they may want your forgiveness because they could have just you know ghosted you or disappear but now they are ready to talk i hear something that wasn't said before they didn't have the courage to say it they want to say it now that's just heart to heart and conversation heart to heart conversation um your feelings mm -hmm, are real and worth exploring this is someone here who could have definitely blocked off their um heart chakra romantic feelings because they were dealing with some sort of hurt, some sort of pain, and learning. Sometimes we learn things and, and you know, when we don't take heed, you know, we have to take a fall and God has to make us learn something. Sometimes in a harsh way. That's what I feel. Like somebody learned a very valuable lesson or they're learning a very valuable lesson. And this could be someone, somebody who wants to talk though. They want to talk. I may do a no contact, no communication um message as well, just to see what that energy comes out to be. Engagement. Yep, this is someone here that thinks about engaging a conversation. Those of you all that are already with someone, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Someone here wants to commit more than what they're committed to you now, meaning they want to make you their person that they marry. This is someone who wants to let you know, I'm not in this for the good time. I'm in this for the long time. I hear fully committed. There is a conversation that's coming because this card keeps peeping out. Someone here definitely has something on their mind, something on their heart, and they want to speak their truth. I keep hearing. There also could be a, a trip 
that this person wants you and them to take to get to know each other. This is someone that's very passionate about you. And this is someone here that's um in the mood to flirt. I hear that song, I Got Love on My Mind. And I think it's about that time. I think that's um Escape. All right, Holy Spirit, what do they need to know? Ooh, this fell out. The Six of Swords. So there is some movement that's going on here. This is someone here that, again, this person right here was in a rough place in life. This could have been a rough place for you and them with this connection. And this is someone here that they, all they're thinking about, okay, how can I make it better? How can we make it better? This could be someone here that they have been dealing with a lot. Of, I heard turbulence, a lot of turbulence. Or someone could be flying and experience a lot of turbulence. Someone could be flying in. I feel a quick energy in this picture. The trees are like as if they were blowing very um very strong. Like the wind was very strong and the trees are moving a lot. So someone here, something is moving. Something is moving, taking place on the um, 5D, and it's causing a physical manifestation. The Six of Swords, here they come, coming towards you. Want to get from the hard times to the good times. The Page of Wands. This is someone here. Now, one thing about the Page of Wands, he or she, you know, they have a, they have very good intentions. And their intentions, they want to go to the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so here's the Ten of Pentacles. You know, what can we, you know, what can we compromise on? I just heard someone here, they're following their instincts. If this was someone who was very emotional with this water here, they tap out of their emotions and they're using like logic, practical ways, you know, their common sense and their intentions are very good. Now, this could be someone who wants to come over to your home or want you to come over to their home. But I do, I heard, I hear the word comfort. They want to make you comfortable and they want to be comfortable. But their thing is, you know, they want to get, they want to get it right. I hear that song by Monica, before you walk out of my life. I just want to make it right. So there is, this could even be like an apology some of you are going to get, but their intentions are very pure and very good. Whatever the bad times were, whatever, you know, something is already in the past. Their thing is now, you know, I've never told you, or maybe I have told you, maybe I haven't shown you the way I could have or should have, but I want to move things to a very solid place. And I want to do this before you walk out of my life. And someone is in a hurry to get next to you. What's the six of swords, Holy Spirit? Mm. Child, good Lord, honey. Oh, yeah. Here come the four of wands. Definitely, this is someone who, who definitely has commitment on their mind. And this is someone here that this person is very solid. Not only are they solid, but they have structure. Here is the Knight of Cups. This could be someone here that wants to make you some sort of romantic offer and say, you know, let's go out to dinner. You, someone here may like to sit by the water and eat. Um, it's very soothing, very peaceful. I hear someone's going to take you to your favorite restaurant. So this is someone that some of you all already know. But there is an offer coming in to you. And this is a very emotional, romantic offer. And this is someone here that has strong feelings and they desire to grow and they want the feelings to evolve. If you all haven't been together in a while or you all have been like in a rocky place, they do want to work it out. They do want to get it on the right um on the right path. This is someone here they want to journey life with you. And see the fool card, they want to initiate something. So if someone is coming towards you to initiate a conversation, a much needed heart to heart a much needed heart to heart conversation and this could be a text message that you're going to get a text message from good intentions and this is someone here that's been contemplating and thinking about this for quite some time how to approach you when to approach you even what to um say to you but there is a heart to heart conversation about where you all used to be you know, maybe things were not the best in the past. And now they're thinking about, you know, let me do my part. Let me, my intentions are pure. And I assure you, my intentions are good towards you. I feel like we could do so much better together than apart. Those of you all that are already with someone, this is someone here that just definitely sees their life, you know, growing with you. And they don't want anybody else, period. Somebody here is shy. I heard the word shy, S-H-Y. They're very shy. I see the the I see Lucas. This is L U C A S. I see Lucas Baldwin B A L D W I N Baldwin. I see Singletary S I N. Hold on a minute. I see about five different names coming all at once. I. 
Is this Ingrid? I-N-G-E-R. Is it A-D or D? Ingrid? These could be some people that are shy or that just needed, needed or wanted to come through in this energy. All right, Holy Spirit, what else do you need to know? Yep. They want, <laughs> they want your hands on their body. Yep. This is someone who definitely has prioritized their career. This is, this could be a workaholic. All they do is work, work, work. They don't want to do that anymore. This is someone that wants to say, okay, I know I work a lot. I know I'm always focused on money. I know I'm always, you know, you know, on my hustle, on my grind, but I, I hear slow down. They want to slow down and they want to take their time and love you. Um, if you all are just like, I hear newly dating, this is someone here that definitely wants to um, slow down and you all fall in love. Um, this is someone, they they felt dead inside before you. They did not um, prioritize or think about love the way you did or relationships. This is someone here that had to take a, a, deep, a deeper look into their life. Let's get one of these to close this out. Lineage of the rose, moved by the goddess, here for this soul call and gather. This is someone that they could be attracted to your goddess energy or they could be utilizing their goddess energy to move them. And this is a soul call. They feel like you all are meant to be together. Now, the child within, I told you somebody is shy. The child within, inner mother, innocence, gentleness, and tenderness. This could be someone that had mother issues, male or female. Females have mommy issues um, as well. And they've gotten over that. They had to forgive some things, learn some things. Uh, for someone here, it could be the mother of their child or it could be a mother herself. They had to forgive herself for some things before they can move forward in a healthy place with a relationship. Oh, uh, let's see what zodiac signs. I'm not gonna make this long. We must not make this growling. You have Leo. This is Scorpio. Uh, uh, not Sagittarius. What is it? Gemini. Gemini, Leo, and Libra. Leo is here twice. Gemini, Libra, and Scorpio. Peace and blessings. Great day. I hear they can't get you out of the system. I, I hear that song, I Can't Get You Out of My System. I'll link that song down below. Great day. Love you all so much. Namaste.